Hello everyone, today we will tear down the locker and I will show you the hardware side of the locker. This is locker air unit and this is locker ground unit. Let's start from the locker air unit. Locker air unit case has two sides, upside and downside. So both sides um, glued together, seal it for the water uh, resistance. So to take to tear down the locker, so we have to use isopropyl alcohol to solve the glue and then we can uh, tear apart the case. So for this, I will use prototype, uh, which is not glued. It's, the, it's exactly the same, just it's not painted and this one is painted. So I will use this uh, this unit, local unit. Uh, let's take apart the case. And on the bottom of the PCB, there is a battery located. Uh, this is Varta Coin Power 1654. It is a lithium ion battery, 0 0.4 watt hour. And this is the bottom side of the PCB. On the bottom side of the PCB located the uh, main microcontroller unit uh, which is a LoRa E5 uh, module from the SEED and it is CE and FCC uh, certified. And inside this model, model used uh, STM32 WAL microcontroller. Uh, and another uh, company is the USB type C connected from the Molex, uh, which is IPX7 grade uh, water resistance. And another co uh, company is the switch. Now I will take off the PCB. And this is the antenna. It is a wire antenna. It is uh, tuned for 860 and 915 megahertz. It's very flexible and it's soldered directly to the PCB. And on the on the top of uh, on the top side of the PCB, the the biggest component is the GPS uh, unit. This is the GPS antenna. And another uh, another com uh, component is the serial to USB com uh, USB converter chip. Another one is battery protection, battery charger uh, chips, and a small LED. As you see, Loka has a 22 pin Molex USB Type C connector. And I use this connector to connect all necessary pins from the microcontroller to the uh, to, to USB Type C connector. Uh, to connect a still link directly from the USB Type-C connector. So we, without need to tear down the case, tear down the local, just to access to the uh, hardware debug pins. So for this, each local comes with this uh, USB Type-C uh, extender board. So this board gives access to all the pins of the uh, USB Type-C connector on the local. So by using uh, Cable jumps, jumpers, we can easily connect as the link debugger to the uh, to local from USB Type-C. So, put it here. Local grand unit on the top, it has on-off button, RGB LED, and on the side there is USB Type-C connector. This is connect, this connector is uh, to charge the battery and also to program the uh, uh, local ground unit. And on the top there is SM SMA mail connector uh, to connect the uh, antenna. Okay, we have we have two layer PCB on the uh, top near the SMA connector there is a um, LoRa E5 module and on the bottom we have ESP32 uh, module so note that in this local grand unit we use ESP32 uh, microcontroller as a main microcontroller so all the codes runs in, inside this uh, microcontroller and this uh, LoRa E5 unit used as radio unit and we have USB Type-C connector, and there's next to it there is a RGB 
red, green, blue, LED, we can program uh, all these three uh, colors. And here, serial to USB uh, converter chip. This is the button. And there is two buttons on the button. This uh, button's accessible uh, only for the developers. You have to uh, unscrew it with this case, and then you will have access to these buttons. One of them is the res reset button. One of them is the boot button. This is for the uh, firmware developers. On the back, we have battery. So here's supposed to be a, a battery holder for a lithium ion 18 uh, 650. Uh, in this version, um, I don't have currently, I used uh, this battery as uh, on the prototype version.